Ah, Nancy, what's up? Pretty impressive, huh? Are you my cathedral contact? My code name is Yun. And before you ask, no, I did not choose it. Would have chosen something better. Shadow, blizzard, or some better word that doesn't also sound like a name you'd give a horse. Yeah, there's an actor called Ewan McGregor. I'm sure you feel the same way. <clears throat> Something like that. I need to cut that out. <sighs> Can you look into Alec Fell for me? I. Do you have anything that could help me keep an eye on Bridget? Well, not as such. Unless... You're not afraid of heights now, are you? Check this out. Find a bow, and you can use this to zip across the courtyard. It's not safe, but it is fun. That was weird. It's like I had to take it twice? Is there anything you could tell me about Bridget? That girl upstairs. I ran her background on a hunch. And? Nothing. Try not to let her become collateral damage. She seems sweet. Why was the attack centered on Glasgow? We wondered that as well. It took us too long. We had that special vanity that made us think our lives were more important than anyone else's. And that blinded us to the obvious. It was Glasgow because someone here wanted to play a risky game. When Grevenant sees someone they think could be pointed in their direction they find advantageous, they drop a trail of breadcrumbs. The creepy messages I'm getting on my phone. Who do you think is sending them? I've been trying to track the source of the message. Grats await the mysterious stranger who coded that monstrosity. Why are you my contact? In order to do my job, I have to have top information clearance. But I'm not an agent per se. Civilian liaison work often falls to me. If you're asking what that means, you may not like the answer. May not? Absolutely won't. You're not considered a player. You're considered an asset. You're more or less on your own. You get to chat with me, and that's it. Is Cathedral a part of MI5? It is, and yet it is not. I understand. And yet you don't. I love duplicity. And yet... You hate it. There's my girl. I like your style. But... No, I genuinely do. <coughs> what exactly do you do here? In the intelligence game, the dumb ones get manipulated, and the clever ones get buried. And the particularly clever ones? Well, they win, of course, but that's most likely not you. No offense, it's not me either. Are you the one who sent me the message to come to Scotland? No. Do you know who did? Nope. Do you know why? Yes, in fact I do. Someone thinks you have special insight into the secrets that were lost with Kate Drew. I don't. Well, perhaps you do. How about you get caught up on the basics first before making up your mind? What is your role with Cathedral? I'm the Watcher in the Wires. I protect the status quo. And, for the time being, you. Do you know who Kate Drew was? Aye, we all do. I know she's your mom. You can call her that. So, she really wasn't a reporter? She was, and was quite good. But she was also one of ours. A spy? Aye. What or who was she spying on? Figured you'd want to know. I gave you basic clearance on the archives. There is a station set up for you along the wall. Talk to you later. Bye. Let's go check that out now. Yep, not this way. Is it? Um. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's that little computer thing over here.
And because this thing slowly just shifts around, I have to bruise. So I'm trying to make sure I see all of them. That's Carson Drew again. Sorry. And that one is nope. Wrong again. There we go. Isn't that the maid of the crew's housekeeper? Something like that. And that one is there we go, Nancy. See the hardy boy. And where is that? No shirt. Oh, the Georgia. That one, yep, okay. Um, oh, Ned. Yep, sorry. Mm. Have you looked at that one yet? I think that's everything I can look at at the moment. <laughs> It all just stayed in a list. It would be easier. Oh, forgot about that one. Keep tabs on Bridget. See if you can get into her room. What exactly was the colony operation? The idea was simple, manufacture a disaster. In this case, it was the release of a virus designed not to kill, but to incapacitate, pushing the city into a state of disaster. That's stage one. What's stage two? As far as we understood, if the Glasgow cell carried out the first stage, then it would take over. Okay, what would they do next? They'd send in support, put the city back on its feet, and in the days that follow, Seize all positions of authority under the guise of emergency action. Drive the stake in the ground, so to speak. And never give back what was taken. Colony was a bit tongue-in-cheek, operations name -wise. It wasn't about shifting a population, it was about shifting power. It was about obedience. So why is the colony operation starting again? Still not sure. Here's the theory. Just like the good guys figured out Revenant existed, so did some bad guys. And maybe they thought, what if we follow the old script? Will they show up and play their part? Which is pretty cute if you think about it. Almost like a seance to conjure a ghost. I still don't understand why Revenant would want to carry out an attack like this. They do not care. That does not make sense. They don't. They are playing the long game. What long game? I would kill to find out. It seems like Revenant was obsessed with getting the formula correct. Why? The formula is important. Too deadly. Obviously a problem. 
Revenant will not show up unless you hit the sweet spot. They're interested in using this as a test drone, not in racking up civilian casualties. Too easy to fight off, then it's just a cold. We need to knock three quarters of the city under a pile of blankets. Then you're home free. What about children, the elderly, people who are already sick? Ah, uh, you know, I don't want to think about that. Back to the formula. If the operation is running again, there is most likely a lab working on an approximation of the virus. Getting everything in place for when the proper formula is available. Once it is, how long would it take to be unleashed? Depends on a lot of factors, quicker than anyone would like. If anyone can find the original scientist, or the original formula, it's a matter of time. If they find both? They'll have it ready almost instantaneously. Is it true that Revenant only allows others to act for them? Let's hope so. If not, then we're terrible at our jobs. The truth is, we think they're... us. Imagine what you could do with these resources if your aim went askew. How did my mom stop the attack? Your mother isolated the man who was orchestrating the attack. And of course he knew nothing, and had nothing that could lead back to Revenant. All he could say was whatever he needed had a way of appearing. And the same person never visited him twice. No one knew what they were bringing him, or why. It was perfectly, and alarmingly, decentralized. Who is Revenant? We do not know exactly. That's just what we're calling him. I'm seeing a pattern. That pattern is called chaos. Simply put, they're the bad guys. Less simply put? In this game of cat and mouse, we thought we were the cat. But you're the mouse. We're the mouse. They're the trap. What does Revenant want? The crazy thing is, what they want makes sense. Do not tell anyone I said that. Not a popular opinion, I'm guessing. That one rarely gets asked for the dance. What they want is to rewrite the rules of the world. What do you mean? Imagine if you got to rewrite the rules of society. Who gets what, who leads, who follows. I bet you'd make a lot of changes. Right. But as the lesson of every sci-fi movie where robots become self-aware states, <coughs> in our flaws lie our perfections. So what exactly does Revenant want? Back in the days of mud huts and the like, some years the harvests would be light. Sometimes, when that happened, two kings would meet and plan a war to thin their flocks. Then, no one would ever know of their failures. That is what Revenant wants. They don't want to take over the world. They want to keep it. <sighs> kind of population control. Hmm. What do you mean by protect the status quo? Society rides on a rail, like a trolley. The rails are solid and modest and predictable. Those are your disc types. They get married, they have some kids, buy a house they can't afford, and never again are they unpredictable, or interesting, or alive even. But the catenary line, the third rail, that's what drives the world forward. People that have a charge running through them, they move the world forward. Or they try to destroy it. I'll make sure that won't happen. See you around. Goodbye. Woo! something I want to mess with right now. Guess I head back out.
I'm not sure what else 